hello. Pull out the vlog camera at like nine, nine it's 8.30. It's 8.30 at night, feels like 10 p.m. Um, I am just about to go get in the shower. I'm gonna pull out the vlog camera for the first time in a while. Kind of catch up with you guys. It's been a whirlwind of a month. I don't even remember the last time I posted a vlog because the last month I cannot, like almost a month to the day, I believe. I'll have to look and see. I think last time I posted a vlog was like right before I went to go see the plastic surgeon for, hold on, let me put y'all down, for a consult for my breast lift. And that ended up moving a lot faster. So long story short, I had told you guys I wanted to go um, get a breast lift. And so a lot of you guys were like, keep me updated. I am still planning on doing like a full YouTube video on it. But I went and met with him and yeah, it was like literally right before I went and met with him. So I went and met with him on the 17th of January. And originally, I mean, I just, I loved him so much. I could not love him more. I will talk about all of that in the main video that I'm going to do about it. But I just could not have loved him more. So I booked that day. Um, I booked for March 28th or March 26th or something like that. And originally I didn't think about it. And I was like, oh crap, like Ezra's birthday is a week later. But he told me that the downtime was so minimal, which it has been. I'm only like a week and a half out now and it's so minimal. But I was so confident. I was like, I am not going to have my surgery in March. I know they're going to call me because I've like been asked to put on the list of like, call me if you have a cancellation, um, which I always get things moved up for that. So always do that. They called me and scheduled it for February 28th. And then literally like, so a month earlier, they called me on February 2nd and said, do you want to have it on the 8th? Like we know this is last minute, but do you want to have it on the 8th? And I was like, yes. So I got my surgery done on February 8th and I literally met with him on January 17th. I just got a lift and the downtime has been so easy. Again, it was the 8th, it's the 20th when I'm filming this, the 20th. And I mean, it just, it's been the best. Like I couldn't lift my arm above, like pretty much above my chest because I kind of fought the nurses a little bit. I guess propofol makes me fight because after I had my tubal, the nurses were like, yeah, you are like ready to go. You were throwing hands with us when you were waking up. And they said the same thing and they had to like kind of hold me down a little bit um, after my surgery, like they were trying to keep my arms down. So I did have that restrict restriction. And then after I got clearance at my one week post-op, um, they told me I could like work out, just don't do any push-ups or anything super crazy with my arms. I'm not, sore or uncomfortable i'm just like aware of my incisions so i've just been kind of little like a little bit careful and like holding a camera has definitely been something i was a little more cautious about so it has been amazing how easy this surgery has been and i am a 34 double d so my chest size really did not reduce everything is just lifted and it looks so freaking good i'm gonna put a picture up on the screen of what they look like in a bikini before and after and you guys can't see like my nipple placement before but like my nipples were literally down at the very bottom of the bikini and now my nipples are like right well this sweatshirt doesn't tell you guys but they're like up super high and everything's so perky and once i'm fully cleared i do not plan on wearing a bra anymore i'm just gonna do pasties um someone said on my main channel she was like don't you want to keep your boobs perky like i feel like if you don't wear a bra you're that's gonna make them saggy it's actually the exact opposite you need to like let these muscles be strong your pec muscles like i've even heard that in the past like if you strengthen your pec muscles your boobs will get perkier and if you don't wear a bra you have a higher chance of like your boobs just being like remaining where they are or remaining perky because they have the strength too and they're not dependent on a bra. So that's the goal, but it just all happened so fast that like I could not even, <laughs> it was crazy. Um, but I'm so happy, so, 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 so freaking happy that I did it, like best decision ever. And I will put a picture up on screen of what my incisions look like. They're pretty intense, but they don't hurt. Like they burned when I first came out of surgery, but by the end of the day, I felt fine. Like I only took any of the pain pills that they gave me were actually to knock the edge off of me being irritated that I can't sleep on my back. Not because I actually am in pain. Like I can't sleep on my back and I still can't sleep on my side until Thursday. That is what that sucks. And then I have to change the tape on my incisions, which mm, I have a design degree. I am not meant to change tape on incisions with sutures and stuff. But 
it has been amazing. So that's just a little brief overview. Again, I'll do a full in-depth video and I'm planning on doing the full in-depth review after my, I don't know if it's going to be six week or eight week or if they even want to do one. I'm going to wait. They want to do a four week post-op. After that, I'll make the decision and then that's when I'll share. But I just am so happy with the results. Like I literally took my bra off the morning after I got, so I couldn't shower for like 24 hours or whatever. I took my bra off at the 24 hour mark for the very first time. And um, it actually is the bra I'm wearing now. You have to wear like a bra of some kind. They gave me this one full time that has like compression to it. It has to be fitted here but no underwire. So that's kind of why I have this one and then they did the front zipper because it just is super easy. Um, but I took my bra off for the first time after surgery and I was like, this is the best thing I've ever looked. And it made me so happy. So it's like perky little boobs all over again. Like I just, well, they're little for me. Double Ds are not necessarily little, but they're little compared to like triple Ds that were real heavy on the sides and now they're on the front and they're just, it's weird. I've literally talked for seven minutes about my boobs, but very happy with it. So uh, if you guys saw the vlog where I mentioned that I wanted to get a lift, I will be sharing one soon. I keep talking with my hands and I'm being so annoying. I have um, these like press on nails from OPI and they're actually really good, but I feel like all the girls on TikTok, they talk with their hands a lot and all of them have these color, like it's something about this nail shape. I don't know why, but I can't explain it. It's like as soon as you put them on, your hands just like take over. So anyway, I need to shower now. Um, I'm going to, mm, tonight's not a different gel night. I need to walk you guys through my updated skincare routine as well. It's been such a long time since I've just like chatted. I have started different, ah! I have started different gel for my acne because I just figured like at this point in my life, I still am saying I have problem skin. I have this skin, I have that skin and you know, it is what it is. But the one thing that I didn't love was just the acne that I would get occasionally that wasn't like, I know the difference between hormonal acne. For me, hormonal acne, I always get it here. And I always get it literally like clockwork two days before my period. Um, but since having babies, I haven't had any hormonal acne but I just get it on my cheeks. And like, that's always been my problem place. I didn't go on Accutane in high school or college, even though my dermatologist recommended it. And it's just like, now I'm kind of over it. And so I had looked up a couple things to do. And I also saw that this is really good for like dark spots and stuff. And while yes, I could get something, like do something, um, I was gonna do tretinoin that like also helps wrinkles and stuff like that. I get Botox. Like I actually am due for some. Mine fully after 12 weeks, the dyspore I had wore off. So yeah, I gotta walk out through my skincare routine and update you. Um, so maybe we'll do that after I get out of the shower because I've not done that in a hot minute and it's all very simple. So let me go get in the shower. Who's that handsome baby? Oh my goodness, it's a robot. Okay guys, so, putting this little cutie patootie down for his nap. Gotta put you in your sleep sack first, my guy.
Hold on, I know you saw the bottle. Don't start crying. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh. I'm working. I know, you saw it, you saw it, you saw it. Look, mommy parking lot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. like hatches are easy to use. I feel like the hatch app makes it so much more. New yeah. shoes, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what they look like. <gasps> Ooh, aren't they so pretty? They are size eights, right? Hold on. Let me make sure they're eights, because if these are not eights, mommy's gonna lose your, I mean nines, yeah, that's right. They have to be nice. Aren't they so cool? Ooh. They'll fit with your braces. You see how you can unzip them? Daddy's gonna go get you some uh, socks and we'll put your braces on, okay? Hold on. So Ezra has to wear braces for his flat feet. These are an absolute godsend. I mean, they're great for toddlers in general because the whole front just zips up. Now, problem is he does you know how to unzip them. So usually we'll put the shoes on twice. We put the shoes on before we leave the house and then we put the shoes on once we get to our location. Did you get me some socks? Where's the what? Oh, there they are. Okay, hold on Ezra but they just make it easy because you're not shoving braces down into shoes, which can damage the shoes. So you just put his little foot in there. So that's your left. Yeah. Hey, can mommy put your brace on? Where's your left, left brace? Here's your left. Hold on, baby. Left shoe. Let's put the brace on first. This? Yep. This. Hold on. Look, you still have to slide your foot in this one a little bit, okay? Oh. That's a nine. Oh, that fits. Okay. That's perfect. Oh, look how good that looks. You look like such a big boy with your shoes. You can actually see the braces out of these too. They have they have high top options where you literally don't even see the braces. Oh. There you go. Good job. Tight. Is it tight? All right. You want to stand up in your crazy outfit? Ooh, look at you. Look at you styling and profiling. Look at you. So stylish. Oh, yeah. He's coming to show you his shoes, Sam. So if your child is older and you're concerned with like them being made fun of, unfortunately, because they have braces, because kids, you know, they'll literally make fun of anything. Um, Billy has older size shoes, like they have kids shoes. So again, it's just, they have slippers, which is really nice. You look so good. You running back and forth. Um, but they have high tops too, that you cannot see those braces in at all. Are you so fast? Are you so fast? You're so fast. Go show, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, the flat feet, um, the braces are doing a great job. A great job for his flat feet. We only got them maybe like a week or two before Christmas. It is February like 23rd, I wanna say, when I'm filming this, and his, you can already see arches forming, and he has to wear them for about eight hours a day. He wears them, I wanna say seven days a week, but honestly, it's more like six, just because lately he's been taking them off. Like, just cause it's something to do. Um, but he wears them, I mean, if we have control over it, it's every single day. So 
that's, I mean, it's just been the best decision to get that fixed because I'm 20, almost nine. And, um, I do, I still have flat feet and they cause just like a lot of problems. So yeah, definitely recommend going to see, um, Oh gosh, I rec so I talked to his pediatrician about it. She mentioned like there were two options. She said you can do orthotics in their shoes or physical therapy. I think we heard two options. And she said, you know, you need to see which one is more cost effective and which one is honestly best for him. She was like, if the orthotics are gonna be crazy expensive, maybe physical therapy is the way to go. Um, but physical therapy can take a little bit longer. With this, they don't even think it's gonna take a full year. They were very expensive because insurance covered like basically nothing. So we had to pay $900 for those things. But um, it's worth it if it's a year and then he's got, like flat feet can cause so many problems. And I literally knew a guy in high school who got rejected from um, a, one of the military colleges in West Point, maybe, because he had flat feet. He just, they were like, nope, sorry, can't come. So, gotta fix them feet. All right. If you guys do not follow me on old TikTok, you absolutely should. I upload a lot of like mom content there and vlogs and stuff, and I uploaded this vlog today. It is a five minute vlog. Um, just of spending the morning with me. I don't know. TikTok is just a different vibe than Instagram, so. Are you taking your shoes off? Are you messing with mommy's calendar? Can't tell. No, that's, yes, that's mommy's calendar, but we're not gonna mess with that, okay? Mommy's gonna look and see. I think these are my shoes. Are these my shoes? And they are. They are. Look at mommy's shoes. How cool. They're mommies. Mommy. Yeah, they're mommies from Walmart. How cute, 20 bucks, I think, yeah. Mommy. $20, and I always get my true size. Let me make sure they fit. But I always get my true size and no boundary. And mommy. they have the memory foam soles, so they're really, really comfy. That is mommy first, no, 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 no. So in about like 40 minutes, I'm gonna feed Ezra and then put him down for his nap. And I think I'm gonna go to Panera and grab that salad that I used to get all the time when I was pregnant with Roe. It's the like, I can't remember what it's called. It's like chicken, Asian sesame chicken salad. That's what it is. I don't know if something's in the water. I don't know. My kids are being difficult and don't want to nap. So I'm taking Roman with me. We're gonna go get Panera. Thank God I had already planned this. But he just is like, no, I'm not. What's this nap thing you talk about? And he usually does not reject naps like this, but he always naps good in the car. So whatever, and Ezra's down for his first nap after like not eating, so he probably won't sleep that long that well, but my God, what is happening? They never reject naps like this. It must've been because I said I had, I wanted to go get lunch and I wanted to do it peacefully. But here we are, gonna eat in the car. So Panera, Asian sesame chicken salad. I am gonna add avocado. Okay, so I was gonna tell y'all that you needed the salad, but actually don't don't buy it Like I just went to Panera. I Bought the Asian sesame chicken salad add avocado and a Pepsi and it was $17.90 What is happening that I just paid $18 for a f Effing salad like what, there is no markup. I've been in the restaurant industry. There is no markup that you can convince me about that that like makes sense. I understand you still want to profit from the food that you provide. Where, where, where is that $18 going? It's lettuce. It's lettuce. That's actually one of the reasons I like that salad so much is because there's not a lot of stuff on it. And it does have chicken, which it's really high in protein. I think it's listed at like 1180 or 1190 for the menu price. So like, where did we get the additional $6 from? $3 for avocado? Three? $3 for a drink? Three? What is happening? What is happening right now? Okay. Soapbox. 